10,000 years ago, these giants roamed the Earth. But climate change destroyed every last one of them. Unable to adapt to the dramatic speed in which their landscape transformed, the woolly mammoths became a monumental symbol of what we stand to lose now. One million species are at risk of extinction in the face of accelerating climate change, including the human race. We can still help change the course of this massive extinction crisis by addressing one of the biggest drivers of climate change, intensified animal agriculture. Guardian headlines that meat accounts for nearly 60% of all greenhouse gases. According to the Washington Post, the demand for meat is destroying the Amazon. This is our moment. It's a fact that the global food system is the primary driver of biodiversity loss. The extinction crisis is massive since it puts one million species on the brink. We must radically change how we produce food and start eating for tomorrow. The house mission is to feed billions of humans we want to change everyone's conception of what meat is and what it can be. We do this by growing meat from the cells of animals instead of the animals themselves. We call it cultured meat. If you can do something efficiently in the laboratory in a controlled environment and you've got a technological solution that works, we should use that. Cultured meat significantly reduces the climate change impacts that's normally associated with regular meat production. Not only can cultured meat save our planet, but it's tastier than most meats out there right now. This meat is achieving great flavours from animals we've overlooked, and I think even from extinct animals. The technology is moving faster than regulatory pathways can keep up. The world needs cultured meat now. The mammoth is a symbol of loss, but we wondered could this prehistoric creature also become a beacon of hope? Introducing the Mammoth Meatball. The Mammoth Meatball, what a name, isn't it? It's huge. I never thought I'd be eating a meatball made of mammoths. But I think it captures how science tries to do the impossible the goal behind creating the Mammoth Meatball was really about starting that discussion around food and what that decision to eat meat really means for the world at large by bringing an extinct protein back to life. We first identified a mammoth gene called myoglobin that gives meat that meaty taste that we expect in red meat. We then use publicly available data to identify the DNA sequence in mammoth. We filled in any gaps in the DNA sequence of this mammoth myoglobin gene by using the genome of the African elephant, the mammoth's closest living relative. So we inserted the mammoth myoglobin gene into our cells using a very low current and high voltage charge. Then we continue to grow and multiply these cells, just as would occur in a mammoth thousands and thousands of years ago. And what that means is we've got a lot more cells, so the cells will grow. And the amazing thing about this is that not a single animal needed to die to produce the mammoth meatball. After years of extensive research, the mammoth meatball is finally here. Cultured meat sparks my creativity as a chef. It's a new playground. I love the moment when people try it. There's total magic there. You see this wide-eyed surprise when they put it in their mouth for the first time and that it's super delicious. Cultured meat is going to need the support of political systems to generate enough momentum and money to support this brand new technology. We need to think differently about our future. We need to get smarter. When we think about food and manufacturing at scale, we need to think holistically. We need products that are ultimately better without destruction. They need to be better for the planet and sustainable for the future. The Mammoth Meatball. Climate change is reversible. We just need to get all of humanity to work together. Let's eat our way out of extinction.